so my name is Jasmine. I grew up in England, but I have lived in New York for a long time, um, which is where I live now. I met Eddie, I had a band before Tempers called Seasick, and uh, he joined that band uh, shortly before we broke up. And so uh, that band ended and then we started Tempers together. Okay. And I'm Eddie, I'm from New York originally and uh, still live there now. Um, I like to think about it in terms of songs, you know. Um, I, I feel like they're like, um, they're songs that have a sort of cinematic quality to them. They're very atmospheric and kind of uh, moody and, and they have a lot of complexity emotionally. I, I have a hard time with genre, I think, yeah. <laughs> as a lot of musicians do. And so, you know, I, I think about it, but I do think about it mostly in terms of like songs, like mm -hmm. songwriting. Um, I think the music um, is really about um, healing. Um, I really like to create an empathetic space for emotion, uh, for like sort of deep, intense emotions. And also I tend to reflect a lot on um, sort of existential problems. Mm -hmm. um, so I think of it as music to help people through hard times. Okay. And I think a lot of our songs have a sort of um, layers of emotion at the same time. So there could be um, intensity and sweetness mm -hmm. and sort of um, yeah, sadness, so but um, yeah. ethereal. And so I think combining those things can sort of amplify okay. the emotions that a listener might okay, feel. You know, what I do enjoy is, is not having a national identity. Okay. I think that that definitely is, is an influence mm -hmm. for me creatively because I don't feel like I belong anywhere, but I really like that. Yeah. And uh, I think it gives me a kind of a freedom and ability to find home anywhere. The question of belonging comes, a lot, comes up a lot in my lyrics. I, think, I mean, growing up in New York, I think you're exposed to a lot of different things all at once, you know, and the city itself is influential. It's mm -hmm. really inspiring and it has its own character that automatically just, you know, influences your taste and right. your style and the type of art you make. Um, you know, and through travel and through living in other places, I think mm -hmm. you absorb, you know, different sorts of genres and interests. And I, I think it all sort of comes together. Basically. So uh, the album was really uh, looking at, um, you know, what kind of meaning makes life meaningful in times of crisis and so I was really just exploring like you know uh, you know the quest for truth or beauty or the kinds of things that people uh, you know finding a purpose the kinds of things that people go to when times feel chaotic and uh, so that was really kind of like the basis of like uh, just sort of lyrically what I was exploring it was recorded um, right at the start of the pandemic we actually uh, played a show in Paris on May 12th yeah. <laughs> and then flew back uh, May 13th uh, in the middle of like a tour that we were supposed to do. And, uh, and then we just immediately got to work on this album. I mean, it was a really different experience that we've other other albums we've recorded in studio and this one we've recorded at my house, the whole thing, okay. you know, so we in the pandemic, you couldn't go anywhere, you know, mm -hmm. so we sort of adapted and created a different workflow and a different process that had a different outcome, you know, mm -hmm. it was uh, it was, yeah, it was a really different experience, but uh, it really worked for us for where we wanted to go with our next album. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Um, I would say like mysterious, intense, and empathetic. Mm -hmm. Can you say the same? I, I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> I would steal Leonard Cohen's uh, lyrics. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It doesn't have to be an object. Yeah. Maybe David Bowie's eyes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Is that the Okay. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. much.